today's English lesson is what can we write? So when we're writing a letter to some, oh, before we start, don't forget about your name. So I'm gonna put Miss B at the top. So when we're writing a letter to someone, we need to have content in it. Otherwise, it's very, very boring. So some options, I know it says people up here. That's not right. It should say ideas, maybe, or topics would be another good thing it could have. So some options would be what's going on in the news, a good story, maybe something that happened to you, questions about the other person's life, something that will make them feel special. So, like I said, I'm writing my brother and his family. So at the top, I'm gonna to put Albert. I'm gonna put Gretel. And I'm gonna put Dawson, their son. And so news, what's going on in the news? So here, I'm just gonna write a sentence that can kind of give me a, an idea when I start writing my actual story to them. So news, right now, some things are starting to open back up with the pandemic. So I could write things that are happening with the pandemic, aka COVID-19, the coronavirus. So those are some newsy topics I could choose to put in my letter. Remember, these are all just ideas. They don't necessarily have to go in your uh, letter, but it's good to brainstorm before you start writing. Okay, a good story. Hmm, what are some good stories I could write about? Well, one good story I could write about would be about Theo crawling. So I could say Theodore started to crawl without his belly touching the ground. And then when I write the letter, I'm gonna go more in depth than that, just that. I could say how he's crawling all over the place, how he shakes before he starts crawling and he moves back and forth kind of in this uh, motion before he actually picks up his hand and I can really go in depth. But this is just a good point of, oh, that's something I could write about and then I can go further into it later. Questions about the other person's life. Well, they live in Indiana, so I could ask them what the weather's like. I know here it was really, really hot on Monday. Yesterday it was windy, and then today it's kind of cold. And so maybe they have the same weather as us. Maybe they don't. But I could still ask them about their weather. I could also ask them what the stores are like. I know it took me several tries to find toilet paper a couple weeks ago. And maybe they're having the same issues or maybe their stores are completely stocked with all the, the goods they need. So what are the stores like where? you are 
And then after I ask the question, if I choose that one in my writing, I'll explain why I'm asking it. And then something that will make them feel special. So they live in Indiana. I haven't seen them since Christmas, so I could just say how much I miss them. So I could talk about how much I miss them or maybe even specific things that I miss about them. Like I miss Dawson running around like a crazy man or my brother's weird sense of style or Gretel's funny jokes. I could go more specific if I wanted to. So this is just brainstorming again. They can be kind of more general and then when we start writing it's going to be more exactly what you want to say. It's going to be more in depth. <laughs>